You know, they talk in the world of sports about a man who has to be saddled with some of the responsibilities. Are there people in the seats? Are the hockey club, or is the hockey club playing? Are the individuals putting out as much as they should? In all the situations connected with a professional team. Now, it falls on two individuals mostly. Naturally, it must fall on the owner because it is he who is putting the bill. But the owner, of course, cannot take it all in any phase of sport. He has to have a guy who is just below him who absorbs some of the punishment. And I assure you that pro sports is not all the glamour that it looks like it is from the outside. This is not that the folks inside are complaining, but there just is a lot of hard work to it and a lot of the glamour is not there. Now the man with the Providence Hockey Club, who has many heartaches, and I do not know about his ulcers, but I know that he has suffered through every campaign. The Reds were not able to win consistently. And during this campaign, until the last weekend, was a worried man. Today, he bears once again the smile of the smiling Irishman that he was known as in the days back in 1948-49, when he played in that memorable seven-game series against the St. Louis Club, and in one of the games came up with three big goals. This in my mind, and in the minds of many in the hockey world around the American Hockey League say, that this positively, St. Louis and Providence, 48-49, the greatest hockey series ever played. And the man who was right in the center of it, not as a general manager, the job he has today, but as the player coach of the Providence Reds, a personal friend of mine since he arrived back in 1946, I am honored to introduce the general manager of the Providence Hockey Club, Terry Terrence Ridden. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, the guest at the head table, Reverend Father, Shirley and Judy are happy here. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. After such an introduction as yours, Duffy just gave me, I don't know, I thought maybe I might have died last night or something like that. <laughs> he painted a very grim picture of the job as a manager. The only thing I can say, I've never met a damn good thing of scoring three goals against the Lewis Cup. I don't know if you <laughs> But while we are up here, the great readers, a hockey night, I'd like to introduce a few more old timers. This is a hockey night, Papa Jimmy's night, but it's a hockey night. I'd like to introduce a few more old timers that are here tonight. I'd like to introduce, to, uh, introduce at this time Mike Caracas, State of Rhode Island Rep. <laughs> and this fellow is so old, believe me, that uh, most of you people will not remember him. He used to play gold and he peddled. Uh, now, this is a, as I found out tonight, this is a commercial night. He peddles the uh, shape of beer, Patty Byrne. Not a gold summer fellow. <laughs> I remember, of course, Chuck Scherzer, Narragansett. <laughs> and, of course, we come to another real old-timer. Used to be with the uh, Providence Reds. He deserted us. He played the Reds for a number of years. He got the, he got the Broadway lights in the eyes. He went, he, now he's working with the New York Rangers. The Rangers aren't looking too good right now. He's trying to get a job back with us again. I don't know if he's back or not. Johnny Canyon. <laughs> and we've got another ex Rhode Island Red with us. Recently, most of us remember him. Of course, all of you remember him. Bruce Campbell. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Back in the real old days of Patty Burns, of course, we've got Jeff Rivers over there sitting down. <laughs> and another old timer from Winnipeg, who's been telling you about the Winnipeggers, believe me. He's got a brother visiting right now from Winnipeg, Manitoba, where the temperatures are awfully, uh, they're very mild compared to Providence right now, believe me. Joe Rivers from Winnipeg, Manitoba. <laughs> But it's a pleasure to be here tonight to, to salute Papa Papagini, 10 years of the Providence Reds. And believe me, there aren't too many players that last 10 years of the Providence Reds. We have a saying, of course, in Providence that 
innocent has been proven, and believe it or not, that all hockey players have played professional hockey at one time or another have got to play for Providence. You either catch them on the way up or you catch them on the way down. <laughs> well, I'm still looking forward to getting Gordy Howe <laughs> on the way down. Delaval, I'm looking forward to yet. He's got to come down to us, too. He hasn't played for us yet. But we have, as you know, probably is quite a hockey city, and uh, we get the, the hockey players going up as if they're on the way down. Barbara Tapazini came to us 11 years ago. We made a trade at one time with, with the New York Rangers, and Papa Papazini came to us midway through the season. At that time, we had a hockey team that was going nowhere. We got the, we made the trade, I think it was around Christmas or the first of the year, anyway. Papa was playing in Cincinnati. He drove all night, all day, through a snowstorm, through a blizzard, came down and played. And as a matter of fact, we had a tough time making the game. We were supposed to be up. We drove all night and all day through a snowstorm to come down and play for us. That year, with the addition of Papa Zini, we went on. We made the playoffs. We went to the finals. We played against Pittsburgh. And, of course, that year, Pittsburgh beat us out in the finals. Tremendous series. Pittsburgh had a tremendous hockey club. We can talk about Papa Zini with his scoring record that he set one year in the, in the playoff. The year we won the Calder Cup. He set a record that year. He had a tremendous year that year. It's tremendous year in the playoffs. The year he played with Larravee on left wing, or Lara, or Camille Henry on left wing, Larravee at center, Papazini on right wing. Tremendous line. That year, they say, was Papazini's greatest year. I remember a year ago, the same year he joined us. <coughs> the first year he joined us, we met Pittsburgh in the playoffs, as I said before. <laughs> we met Pittsburgh in the playoffs, and Papa wound up with a bad shoulder. Very bad shoulder. Could not play with him. But Army strapped him up, only put one hand on the stick. We went out there that night in Pittsburgh. I think on that night, I think I remember right, we, we, we beat, I think Bill Mayer was playing the goal that night for Pittsburgh, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I can still still see Papa Zini came and covered him off the right wing with that big wide sweep with that one hand on the stick. He only had one hand. Bill came out, Papa Zini went by him, hit it up with a puck. The winning goal. I think that was Papa Zini. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking about Gary Papazini joining the, the Rhode Island Red uh, next year. I see Lou with a big fat check in front of him. That's wonderful. <laughs> but believe me, we will not take Gary Papazini. We'll take him on one condition. That we get the other Papazini, Ted, to play center. That's what we need. We need the other one. Scouted, uh, scouted, uh, they've got another Papa Zini, another fresh Papa Zini, a real good hockey player. He was playing at that time in Kingston. A real good hockey player. I talked to him. I said, Ted, how about coming down and joining your brother down in the province? He needs it pretty bad. He said, well, he said, he said, I'm fed up. He said, I'm fed up. Fed up here. He said, I'm in the hard day. The haberdashery business. He said, I'm doing pretty well. He said, if I was going to come up there, he said, and, and lay so, he said, I might put Papa out of the job. He said, well, I won't come down. And we lose off with Jerry a job. Jerry's a right winger. Papa's a right winger. I don't know where you're going to wind up, Lou. One of them, we both can't make it work. <laughs> but to Copper, Papa Zini, it's a wonderful tribute to your Copper and to Shirley. My heartiest congratulations on the very fine evening. I think it's really well deserved. Copper has been a credit to the Rhode Island Red on the ice. Ten years, 11 years I've known Copper. He's also been a credit to the game of hockey off the ice. He's made friends, and he's also made hockey fans, which is a wonderful thing. My first, first, I'd like to say congratulations to your copper and to Shirley. It's a very fine evening.